So I had grand plans of having this up, done, and everything, like, a week ago, but that didn't happen because I've been busy and things have been kind of crazy, and, you know, stuff happens. But I'm doing it now, so if you would like to see my May hits and misses, then please keep on watching. So my first favorite of the month is the Clairsonic Mia. Um, I finally purchased this because my parents gave me a gift card to Sephora for my birthday, and that significantly lessened the blow to my wallet when purchasing this because it is quite expensive. Um, and this is just the Clairsonic Mia, which is the one speed brush. There is also the Mia 2 that has two speeds. Um, but I purchased this one because the employees at Sephora, and I talked to like three of them, and they all said that this brush is completely adequate for doing the job that the Clairsonic is supposed to do. Um, I don't really understand the need for the two speeds, and they kind of thought the two speeds on the brush was a little bit weird as well. And all three of them said that they have this brush and they love it. One of the ladies said that she had been using it for five years and her skin had been just completely clear and perfect and smooth, and she loved it. Um, but this is not something I would say run out and purchase, you need it. Um, because it does break some people out really bad because their skin is so sensitive. And that's really kind of how things go. Some people just have really sensitive skin and probably will not be able to use this brush. But the lady at Sephora did tell me that you only really need to use this brush every other day for the first week that you're using it because that allows your skin to get used to the brush and the really strong vibration of it, I guess. Um, because it is very deep cleaning. Like, I can feel how clean my face feels after I wash my face. I'm like, ooh, clean. Um, but she said, after that first week of using it every other day, then I can start using it every day. And she said that you really only need to use it once a day. I know some people use it in the morning and at night, but I have just been using it at night, and I think it is doing a fabulous job. So, would I recommend purchasing this? Yes. But I would say, do your research first, and if you do decide to buy it and you hate it, Sephora will take it back, I think, like, up to two weeks after you have purchased it. So, you kind of have some work time. You can see if you like it, use it for those two weeks, and I would definitely recommend using it for two weeks so you can really see how your skin is going to react to it. Um, and if you hate it after that time, you can return so it. So next is the Botanics brand, the Power of Plants Cleansing Foam Wash All Bright. And this is just a gentle foaming cleanser and it's for all skin types. Um, and it has brightening hibiscus extract in it and it's supposed to be really good for your skin. And I purchased this because it's supposed to be a super gentle cleanser, and I figured I could use it with my Clairsonic. And I really love the combination of these two together. Um, and I just figured that maybe my Alba Botanic Acne Dote face wash would be a little bit too strong to use with this. I haven't used it with this yet, because I'm kind of afraid that it's going to be a little bit too harsh on my skin. So I've just been using these two together and I love it. So this next product is the Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. I freaking love this. It is a peel off mask. So you let it completely dry and then you just kind of like peel it off your face. And I love masks like that. I think they're kind of fun and they, I don't know. I'm just weird, I guess, but I really love this. I can definitely feel a serious difference in the way my skin feels to before I was using this. Like, I don't know what it does, but I feel like every time I use it, it just like resurfaces my skin and makes it feel soft and new and like a baby's butt. And I, oh, it's expensive and I'm gonna have to repurchase it. And I feel like I've shot myself in the foot with the fact that I have to repurchase this. So I know I mentioned several times that my skin has been super dry and I have dry skin, but lately I felt like my Alba Botanica uh, acne skincare line has been drying out my face a lot, like excessively all of a sudden. I don't know what the deal is with that. So that is really the main reason for all of this skincare change. Um, 
and my skin was so dry that I had to go and purchase a new moisturizer and it is the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. This, after like the first used, first used? First use, solved all my skincare problems on my face. Um, it rehydrated my face, it got rid of a lot of the redness on my face, it took away all the patchiness on my face, and I was like, I'm hooked for life. And I really love this stuff, and I haven't used, a, I haven't used any other moisturizer for the entire month of May except this, and I just freaking love this. If you are having really bad, dry skin on your face or anywhere on your body, I would recommend this because it's amazing. And it's dermatologist recommended as so well. Next is the Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Eye Concentrate. I've used this all month. This small little sample has lasted me all month and I still have a little bit left in here and I am really sad that this sample is almost gone because I love this so much. It has just really like hydrated the skin around my eyes and this under eye area and I feel like it has helped to really lessen the appearance of my dark circles because that area of skin is hydrated or maybe I'm just getting more sleep, I don't know. But I really love this and I'm really sad that I'm almost out of it because um, a full size of this is like $85. So this next product is something that I purchased and is one product that I would say everybody needs to have and I have not purchased something like that in a really really long time and that is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This stuff is just fabulous. Like when you put this on, chapped lips become a thing of the past. They no longer exist. Like I use less lip balm and lip gloss and things like that throughout the day because my lips feel so moisturized and hydrated just from wearing this at night. And I know it's expensive, but seriously, it's going to last forever because you need hardly any. So this is definitely something I would say run out and purchase. It's amazing. And like last time I was in Sephora, it was completely sold out. They did not have a one in the house. So next product I am madly in love with and I just am super excited about. This is the Jergens BB Body uh, Perfecting Skin Cream. I love this lotion. It is amazing and I actually feel like this is doing something for my skin. I'm normally not a big fan of like body lotions because I don't really feel like they do anything for my skin. Like I put them on and I kind of feel like they just sit on top of my skin. This absorbs into my skin. It makes my skin look healthy and just gives it this radiant glow and I'm like yes my skin looks amazing and Oh, I just, I cannot rave about this enough. Um, it's amazing, and this is another thing that I think you should at least try once. So, the first makeup favorite of the month, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, and it is the Kat Von D Monarch Palette. I do have a full review up of this, but this is the Warm Toned Palette that she recently came out with, and I love it. I've used it every time I've worn makeup this month, which has only really been like five or six times. Um, the next product that I have here is limited edition and it's available at Sephora and it is a Sephora brand product and this is their matte bronzing powder called Sol de Rio. So you get this huge mirror, this huge bronzer. This is a MAC mineralized skin finish and this is the bronzer. I'm just saying. Um, it reminds me a lot of Hoola, uh, tone-wise. It's very, like, kind of neutral. It's not really cool-toned, but it's not really warm-toned, which is really good for my skin tone. I'm so fair that, um, if I use something that's too warm-toned, it kind of looks really orange. If I use something too cool-toned, it's, like, ashy on me, and I'm like, ugh! Anyway... That being said, I love this. I think you should run out and purchase this. I would definitely swatch it first because it is light, but it's definitely buildable. And it does kind of have a little bit of a weird smell, but that goes away pretty much instantly when you apply it. Next is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Smoother Base, and I really like this. This is a like makeup primer, 
but it is also like a pore refining balm kind of thing. It's just like a clear balm. I think Mally has one, CoverGirl has one. Um, I think there are a couple more on the market, but it really helps to minimize the appearance of pores and it really just smooths out the whole texture for the face. And I really enjoy this. The only downfall is that it is easy to use too much and if you use too much, your makeup might kind of start slipping in places and that's never cute. But if you use a very tiny amount, and I mean a very tiny amount, it really does make your makeup look super nice. So next are these two lip products that I have been wearing together all month long and I freaking love them. Um, this first one is a lipstick. This is limited edition. It came out in the Perenza Schuler collection from MAC not too long ago. And this is the shade Wood Rose. Now it's a brown toned nude, but it's sheer enough and just pink enough that I feel like I can get away with wearing it. Um, and I have had like this really like big thing with nude lips all of a sudden, especially brown tones. I don't know. Um, and then over top of that, I have been wearing the uh, Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade White Russian. It's pretty much the same tone, just in a lip gloss. That is it there. So they're pretty much the same shade. One's just a lip gloss. And I love these two together. I think they're amazing. And Buxom Lip Glosses, like I said in my recent lip gloss video, collection video thing, Buxom Lip Glosses are my favorite. So now on to the things that I didn't really like or just was not really impressed with this month. And the first thing is the MAC Maleficent collection. Um, I just was not super impressed. I purchased the eyeshadow quad, which has four kind of neutral colors in it. This is gold mine, ground brown, concrete, and carbon. All of these colors are available for purchase individually. The only thing that really makes them limited edition is the packaging, um, which I think the packaging for this collection is quite cute. It's Disney, so it kind of has to be cutesy, right? Um, and then I purchased the Sculpting Powder in the shade Sculpt. Again, available for purchase, just not with the Maleficent packaging. Um, I think the only things that were really limited edition were the lip products, and this is the lipstick from the collection in True Love's Kiss. It is a true red and it is an amplified finish, so it's going to be less drying on the lips than like a matte lipstick would be. Um, overall, I was just kind of underwhelmed with the whole collection. So now, even though I wasn't that impressed with the Maleficent collection itself, I do like the products that I purchased and I use them consistently. Um, I used the eyeshadow and the sculpting powder for my birthday makeup look that I posted not too long ago. Um, so the only product that I truly hated this month was this China Glaze nail polish in the shade uh, Orange Knockout. And I loved this color for summer. I thought it was so pretty and just super orange and vibrant and amazing. But um, I painted my nails before I went to bed, let it dry completely. They looked amazing the next morning I woke up. But like then I was pouring myself milk and my nail polish just started chipping off my nails. Um, and within a day and a half, all of the nail polish had completely chipped off my nails. And I wasn't doing anything like super strenuous or anything like that that just chipped right off my nails. So... That was super disappointing because I like this color, but I won't use this nail polish because it just completely chipped off my nails without me doing anything. So that concludes my hits and misses for the month of May. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, found it kind of entertaining. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.